boy, I sure do love juice shopping. I hope nobody comes along and, and ruins my juice shopping. Excuse me, Publix, I just want to make a quick announcement. Really? Right in front of my delicious, delicious fruit juice. Uh, this is not a sponsored ad, but if anybody would like to, I really need the money. We all know that Halloween is coming up, but did you know that this is the most darkest evil holiday there is that witches and devil worshipers are doing seances they are sacrificing humans and drinking babies blood attention all shoppers uh how do you know that how do you know that stuff is happening because i haven't been invited to any human sacrifice parties lately and i seem to be exactly the kind of person you would expect to get invited to those parties so how do you know about it? What, what's happening in Florida, where of course this woman is from, that she's privy to all this information? But yet we want to celebrate this and let our children dress up in costumes and get candy from strangers. This is what the- You know, I'm glad that there's a couple people in these clips to live vicariously through. Shout out to hell yeah guy wherever you are. Real MVP Chad kind of moment devil does but i say put your faith in jesus christ who died on the cross for your sins he rose again in three days he's alive he's the one true god but the wages of our sin is death i like that there's like one guy taking her side who may be her husband for all i know for all any of us know this is the one guy and everybody else is just not paying attention or being like openly antagonistic like the hell yeah guy you know, I think this says something about your approach, lady, but let's be honest here. Let's, let's, before we keep going with these clips, let's be honest. Um, this isn't about converting people. This is about she wants attention. Amen. Hell forever. Put your faith in Jesus. This world is evil, and I, I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Come on, I got a brother right here. Hallelujah. Credit where credit is due. She's definitely got like this whole like last bit down, the death hell for everything. She does that in like almost every video I've seen of hers. And boy, does she have a lot of them. Excuse me, Dollar Tree, I just want to make a quick announcement. Imagine this scenario, which I imagine many of you have been through and don't even have to imagine. You've just gotten paid, but it's not enough. You've paid your rent, your utilities, your bills, but it's not enough. You don't have very much left, so you have to steal yourself because you're going to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, whose slogan should be to leave your dignity at the door, it's Dollar Tree. So you go in, having left your dignity at the door, and find a crazy woman shouting, and suddenly you're on camera. Adding insult to injury, not only are you in a Dollar Tree having to be witnessed by other people, there is a woman recording you and putting it on the internet. Now, this is nothing against people who go to Dollar Tree, of course. As I said, we've all been in some desperate situations, but a little bit more courtesy would be nice from this woman. Maybe take a second to consider who you were filming before you film and put it on the internet. We all know about the missiles that were tossed at Israel. Okay, so, if you are going to be some kind of public menace, otherwise known as a street preacher, there's probably one thing you should consider here before you go about doing that. Don't mention explosives in public. It's not a good look. The inflation, the hurricanes, I want to tell you, this is prophetic in the Bible, in Revelation, it's prophesied, it's being fulfilled right now. I am sorry, but I've read the Bible before, and I must have missed where in the book of Revelation it talks about inflation and hurricanes. Because Jesus Christ is coming back, he's the son of the living God, he died on the cross for your sins, he rose again in three days. You know, if Dollar Tree needs to hear the truth, I gotta say, uh, you are the wrong person to be delivering it because, and I say this with no hesitation whatsoever, uh, he's never coming back. He's, if he was coming back, he's just decided y'all aren't worth it. He's alive. He's the one true God. If you're not right with God, make it right. Now is the time of salvation. Uh, no, I don't think I will. And I don't think anybody else in there is going to either if they haven't yet because... Why would they listen to you? You're just some random... Why would they see this and think, oh yeah, you know who I want to be like most in life? 
that person. That's exactly what I want to be. Because the wages of your sin is death, hell, forever. He loves you. You know, that's a, that's a fantastic line right there. The consequences for you doing what God allows you to do is death, hell, forever. But he loves you. He loves you very much. And he doesn't want you to go to that place he created because you did the thing he created you to be able to do. It's fantastic logic there. He wants to rescue you from your sin. God bless you. Jesus is coming back. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. God bless you guys. I hate to be rude, I hate to be mean, I hate to be judgmental, but I'm going to be those things for a second because when she turned around the camera there and showed her face, you can see just like there is a total lack of brain activity going on in there. Like there is nothing happening here, okay? She has like two brain cells left and they are rubbing together as hard as they can to try to make a single thought happen and it's just not working at all. Excuse me, Starbucks customers, I just have a quick announcement. This is another situation where, like, this kind of thing is totally inappropriate. I mean, you're at a Starbucks in a grocery store. You're probably not having a fantastic day already if you're at a grocery store Starbucks. This, again, is just insult to injury. You see this lady up here on the sign? That's called a marine spirit. Starbucks actually prays curses over these drinks. Okay, let's just ignore the obvious question here, which is, how do you know that? How do you know that's happening? And go to a related question, which is, why would this be happening? Why would Starbucks, a corporation, want to curse its customers? Starbucks wants to make money. How is cursing its customers going to make it more money? I kid you not. So I just pray that you research about Starbucks. The coffee is good. Okay, now it sounds like she hasn't done research about Starbucks. Hey, lady, have you ever tasted Starbucks coffee before? I don't mean to sound like an elitist, but I am an elitist. Starbucks coffee is terrible. It's, it's awful. You need to do more research. But I tell you, this world is evil, and Jesus Christ is coming back. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He rose again in three days. He's alive. What exactly makes this world such an evil place? Now, I think we can obviously say there are bad things happening in the world, but what bad things have happened that make her think the world is an evil place? She is presumably a fairly wealthy person uh, living in Florida. Now, I say this because she has free time to make these terrible videos. She obviously has enough money for facial implants and such, so she's not she's not hurting. What what rationale is she using here to say the world is such a terrible place? It seems to be treating her pretty good. He is the one true God. But the wages of our sin is death, hell, forever. Uh, I had to try it out. Y you should try it out, too. It's actually uh, kind of fun. Hello, everyone. I know you're getting your bags. I just want to make a quick prophetic announcement. Now, take a second, if you will, to imagine what might happen if it had been, let's say, a Middle Eastern-looking gentleman making that kind of a statement on a plane instead of her. It's a warning, specifically for New York and for America. You know, sometimes I do love being the bearer of bad news, so allow me to fulfill this role for our humble prophet. Uh, if the prophecy is specifically for New York and America, it's not actually that specific because America is a very large country. There are 50 states and 330 million people across a very wide geographic area. It's not very specific at all, actually. We all remember what happened on 9-11. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. No, you can't do that. Can't mention 9-11 on a plane. Shut Who up. died on the cross for Shut your up. sins and rose again in three days. Fuck. He's alive. Another uh, MVP moment. My guy, if you ever see this, shout out to you. You lived my dream. I'm living vicariously through you every time I watch this clip, which, by the way, is like two dozen times at this point. And the one true God, but the wages that sin is...
I thought it would be a nice little treat to just mute that last part there. So if you want to, you can go back and do the line yourself. So you're welcome. Hey, my friend. You know what is the best energy in the world? Oh, this poor, wholesome, naive Red Bull driver who has no idea what's coming next. Jesus Christ! He'll give you more energy than that Red Bull and eternal life! According to the FDA, there are several approved treatments for narcolepsy and hypersomnia. Jesus, as it turns out, is not one of them. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? You have to know him. Time's running out. You could die tonight. Now, I can't be 100% sure because his voice is very quiet, but it sounded like he was saying, not yet, because that's exactly what you would say if you don't believe in this religion and you've got a crazy person shouting at you through your window that you should believe in this religion. But all you got to do is believe you're a sinner and that he died on the cross for your sins and rose again in three days. Okay, so if it's a real thing that really happened, what does it matter if I believe it or not? If it happened, it happened. Shouldn't the effects be what they are? Why do I have to believe in a thing that happened for it to have some kind of effect if it happened? He is alive. He's the one true God. I'm telling you, he's as real as you and me and that Red Bull. The Catholic Church, and what I'm about to say, I assure you, sounds like a joke, but it's 100% not. The Catholic Church has a new mascot that is basically like a chibi-style anime girl, although made by an Italian artist, so it's just like an anime girl style. That's a real thing somehow. Not a, I'm not joking. Go look it up. I think, in turn, Protestants should take, like, a humanized version of Red Bull and, and make it their mascot. I think that would be fantastic. That would be a great way to, to reach out to the youth. But the Bible says the wages of our sin is... Hell is real. Heaven is real. But Jesus is the free gift. All you gotta do is receive him. He loves you. God bless you. Accept this gift or you burn for all eternity. Worst gift ever. I don't like that gift at all. And frankly, I don't think anyone else should either. But, you know, that's all I have of this woman, thankfully. I think you get the point by now. I hope you had some fun chanting along to her mantras. Um... If she's out there, if she ever sees this video, I just want you to know you're not converting anyone. You're actually making Christianity look worse and making yourself look unhinged. So please stop it for the good of religion and the good of society. Um, I'm sick of this kind of thing. And not because I don't like Christianity. You're free to do what you want. You can think Halloween's evil. What It doesn't matter. I don't even like Halloween. So you do you. But um, just stop it. Stop it. You look silly.